I was fortunate enough to meet uh, Baba Prakash Ananda in somewhere around 1976-1977 in Ganesh Puri. And I think what surprised me first when I met him was the extraordinary kind of love, humility. In fact, I would go so far as to say that I don't have adjectives to describe how extraordinarily loving and beautiful and sweet and humble and caring and everything you could ever imagine a human being to be. He was almost a manifestation of the most essential qualities of beauty and love and sweetness that I've ever seen. And in around 1977, I went up to Turiya Mandir in Ganesh Puri where he was staying and I had a few questions. And the first question I asked him was about spiritual experiences. And he said to me, if I tell you my experience, I'll think that I had it. He said, spiritual experiences are ego. Of course, I had more questions. The next question, which was, I thought big, was about liberation. And I said, what about liberation, and, and what does it mean, and what is, what's it about? And he said to me, what is liberation? And I gave the usual, usual 1977 perfect answers like oneness and merging and enlightenment and bliss and all of those types of things. But sitting in front of him, it was like every time these words came out of my mouth, I immediately realized they were bullshit. And then he looked at me very sweetly, and so, again, so much love, and he said, you don't want liberation. If you're liberated, you won't be there to appreciate it. It's best to just be this close. And to appreciate that is almost to understand bhakti yoga, which bhakti yoga, devotional yoga, and Prakashananda was certainly an incredible bhakta, and the way he lived and the way he was. He just wanted to be this close, as he said, at the feet of God. About a year or two later, I went to see Babaji. Now in India, my Indian name was Narayan, and most of my oldest friends call me Narayan. They don't call me Stephen. This is a long story. So I went to see Baba, and he said to me, what does Narayan mean? And I said, oh, well, Narayan is an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. And he said, let me tell you what Narayan means. Now, this is about a half an hour story. I'm going to condense it down to about three minutes. So he said, let me tell you what Narayan means. He said, once there was a great saint named Narada. And Narada was flying around the universe, and he went to Lord Vishnu. And he said, what does Narayan mean? And Vishnu said to him, I want you to go down to a field on the other side of the planet Earth. In the middle of this field, there's going to be some cow dung. And in the middle of that cow dung will be one worm. I want you to fly down and say to the worm, Narayan, and then say, what does Narayan mean? So Narada, of course, Vishnu, and he flies back down. Sure enough, in the, cow, in the field, there's this cow dung. In the middle of the cow dung is this worm, and the worm is coming out. And Narada goes over to the worm, and he says, Narayan. The worm dies. So Narada is kind of confused, and... Okay, so he flies back and he goes up to see Lord Vishnu again. He says, tells him what happened and Vishnu says, well, what I want you to do now is in the same field, not too far from there, you're going to find a bird. And what I want you to do is to fly down to that field in the same field and find that bird and I want you to say to the bird, Narayan, and then ask him, what does Narayan mean? So Narada again flies down to earth and they're in the middle of the field and there's the tree and in the, on the tree is the bird and he walks up to the bird and he goes, Narayan, the bird dies. 
So now Narada is very confused and he flies back to Lord Vishnu, tells him the same thing. Now again, this is about a half an hour story. I'm condensing it to about three minutes. He flies over to Lord Vishnu and Vishnu says, okay, the next thing I want you to do is in the middle of the same field, you're going to find a cow. And I want you to fly down and I want you to say to the cow, Narayan, and then ask him, what does Narayan mean? So Narada says, whoa, whoa, wait a second, wait a second, cows are sacred, I don't want to kill a cow, if a cow dies, I'm going to have terrible, terrible karma, I've got to, Narada said, look, I want you to go down there and do that. So Narada flies down, and there's the cow, and he looks at the cow, and he walks up to the cow, and he goes, Narayan, cow dies. Now in India, this is an incredible sin. So Narada flies off to the Himalayas and he meditates for an eon to, you know, do his tapasya around the sin that he committed. And eventually he does and he flies back to Vishnu and he tells him what happened. And Vishnu says, okay, in the next kingdom over from that field, a baby boy is going to be born, a prince. I want you to fly down there and ask, say to the prince, Narayan and then ask him what Narayan means. And now Narada is like, you don't understand, if I do that, they will kill me for sure if that baby dies. He goes, to use precaution on his words, I'm Bhagwan, do it. So he flies down, there's the kingdom, and because he's Narada, a famous saint, they let him into the kingdom and the baby is about to be born and the baby's there and the baby's sitting there in the mother's arms, in the queen's arms. And Narada goes over to him and says, Narayan, baby doesn't die. So Narada says, what does Narayan mean? So the prince, little baby boy says, my first, last incarnation several ago, I was a worm. You said Narayan and it liberated me. In my next incarnation, I was a bird and you said, Narayan, and it liberated me. In my next incarnation, I was a cow. You said, Narayan, and it liberated me. And now I have heard the name. <laughs> Narayan, it's my last birth. And he looked down at me, Prakashananda, and looked in my eyes. It started going, Narayana, Narayana, Jai Govindare. Narayana, Narayana, Jaya Gopalade. Narayana, Narayana, Jaya Govindare. Narayana, Narayana, Jaya Gopalade. And he chanted for a few minutes. About two or three weeks pass. Go up to see him again. And I sit down and he says, what does Narayan mean? And Prakashananda said, what does Narayan mean? And I said, well, Babaji, you already told me that. And he said, let me tell you again. And he told the entire story again for like a half an hour. And he looked down at me and he said, Narayana, Narayana, Jaya Govinda Hare. Narayana, Narayana, Jaya Gopalade. And again, he chanted for several minutes. Several weeks pass by again. And I go to see him, and I'm sitting with him, and he says, what does Narayan mean? And I said, you told me, Baba. Narayan means liberation. He said, let me tell you again. He told the entire story again, about a half an hour long. And again, he looked at me, Narayana, Narayana. Jai Govindare, 
Narayana, Narayana, Jaya Gopalare. So I have no words to say even. It was almost 40 years ago. But his words, of course, um, stay with me right now. <laughs>